Hey everyone, I'm Sal Sincata and in this month's Product Spotlight, we are talking about the Tamron 15-30 2.8 lens. Alright, so if you're a wedding and portrait photographer, one of the things I encourage you to have in your bag is a wide angle lens. Now, if you're into architecture, uh, environmental stuff, you always have a wide angle lens, right? We want to be able to capture those landscapes. But here's the reality. Uh, if you are photographing with a wide angle lens, things that get on the edge become very, very soft and the archi any architectural element uh, around the edges or top of the frame become extremely skewed. So if you're working with people, right, their feet in the bottom of the frame, suddenly they go from having a size eight foot to a size 15 foot. Now, maybe the look you're going for, I don't know why, maybe people like big feet, uh, but most people don't want that much skew around the edges. And so it's very important to me when I'm looking at a lens like this that I am testing it in the field and we did just that. We were on a real photo shoot uh, with a couple use shooting the way I shoot. So we were very architecturally, uh, in an architectural environment, I should say, uh, and I'm looking at the top of the building to see how that's skewing, but most importantly, I'm seeing how uh, sharp things are on the edge of the frame. I don't want them to go super soft, and it's, it's always normal for the center of that lens to be, and at a certain focal uh, length, to be sharp. That's where the optics are set up, right? You don't want to put somebody on the very, very edge. But in this day and age, it's not uncommon to shoot an environmental portrait. Things are wide on the edge uh, and, uh, and see those buildings start skewing, right? And sometimes you can't fix that uh, in post-production. So I was pleasantly surprised with the results of this lens. Uh, I was able to shoot the building, shoot with the train, shoot very wide and have everything edge to edge incredibly sharp. I was actually impressed most uh, about the sharpness edge to edge about this lens. And then the second thing that was very uh, impressive to me was how little skew there was. Of course, there's gonna be some skew, it's a wide angle lens, uh, but at 15 millimeters, it was extremely minimal. Uh, and so this is something you're gonna to wanna to look at, priced economically uh, for any budget, and at 2.8, it's extremely fast, not heavy. Uh, probably because some of the elements here are a combination of plastic and metal, uh, but it is not heavy at all. Feels well built. I think the results speak for themselves. That is the way I like to test gear. Use it on an actual photo shoot, not in a lab. And so I found it to be extremely sharp edge to edge and skew was absolutely minimal. And so for the rest of the tech specs, check out Tamron's site, check out the article below. You'll see uh, some of the other, you know, kind of marketing specs that they like to have, but the, the end results, I think are what's most important and what speak for themselves. Uh, the performance is there. It's fast at 2.8, which is also very important. I have some wide angle lenses that are at 4.0, so I'm losing a stop of light. And if you're shooting indoor, that extra stop of light saves you from adding more ISO, which saves you from the noise that you're gonna introduce into your shot. And so overall, extremely pleased with this lens. Definitely something you wanna check out. Definitely something you wanna add to your arsenal. Chin that way, gorgeous, chin down. There you go, Dylan, lean into her. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. Now I wanna show you, first, first of all, this is very much the way I would shoot. What I want you seeing is in camera, look across the top here. Look at how little skew there is in that building. Now, I'm at about 20 millimeters, and there's hardly any skew. All you gotta do is look at these horizontal lines, and you can see there's, there's some, if you're looking really close, you'll see some, but it is minimal on the edge of the frame. And so that to me is a quality of a good piece of glass where everything's not getting really soft and blurry on the outside. And of course, uh, getting completely skewed. So at 20, we're not skewed. Let's go to 15. Now, this particular scene doesn't call for it to be 15 millimeter. That's just too wide. I don't need it, but let's uh, go back into each other. There we go, guys. Good, looking at each other. Get Love that hair that. off your shoulder. Get that hair off your shoulder. Same on the other shoulder. There you go. Good. Looking at each other. Oh, I like that. Chris, look at me. Chin down. Yeah. There you go, Dylan. Right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go wide again. And I'm at 15 millimeter, guys. 15 millimeters, guys. Here we go. One, two. One more. Perfect. So what I want you to see is even at 15 millimeters, okay, look here at the corner of that building. You see a little bit of that roof line. And then you can see it disappears. Just a dinch right there, that's the skew. And then at this edge. But look how straight through all these lines are, right? So there's, there is skew there, but it is minimal. That's actually very surprising. If you get one of your wide angle lenses out on the edge of the frame, I guarantee you it is completely uh, skewed.